want to talk about why there is no jab motion in Wing Chun. In Wing Chun, everything we do, we want to talk about releasing the motion. That's why we spend so much time just trying to practice the centerline punch when I'm here. I want to release the motion. I don't want to go forward and then pull back. You don't want to think of it like um, cracking a whip or something like that. Yeah, crack a whip. That's what you do to create that snap at the end of the motion. But if you do that with your hand, you're not going to allow the transference <clears throat> of the potential energy and power in the arm, connected to the body and leg, into the object. That's just, just throwing the ball with just your arm. I want to learn to use the whole body, arm connection, obviously with the legs too, to create that power, and generate that power. So I'm going to demonstrate it with uh, my little Einstein pendulum right here. So if I jab the motion, that's like if I'm holding my hand and I'm just touching it and pull back, touching and pull back, touch, pull back. You notice there's no transfer. I'm just pushing into the object. But when I allow my arm to swing freely, then you obviously see that transfer of the energy through the pendulum. So how does that work just if I'm using a dummy, for example? Well, when I'm here, I don't want to just touch the dummy and pull back. Touch, pull back. Remember, I want to throw that ball <clears throat> and let it go freely. So when I'm here, I want to go into the dummy. Now, when I do that, I don't want to go where I push myself away from the dummy. But I have to, and it takes time, practice, to develop the skill to do that. But the thing that you want to be aware of as you're practicing is, I don't want to touch and pull back. Touch, pull back. I'm not allowing that transference. Remember, the ability to apply power is based on two basic ideas. Connection, arm, body, legs connected together, and also the acceleration. So yeah, obviously if I go slow with that, there's not gonna be a lot of transference of the potential power. But if I accelerate that, now there's more potential power. And that's how I can penetrate into the object. I don't wanna just come in and push gingerly at it. I have to go forward where now I can transfer that potential power. But remember, like I said, I need to go up to that point where it's not affecting my center of gravity. So I go forward to that to do that, but I don't want to come in here and push myself away. I must always have that stability and control of my center of gravity whenever I'm doing any function of Wing Chun. So play around with that idea, and then when you realize it, you'll never want to throw another jab in your life. Good luck.